Ladies and gents, welcome back. It's Veronique here and I am very excited to be talking to you again this Sunday. Um, some of you, you follow me on Instagram and thank you so much for that. Uh, and I upload their stories on a daily basis in terms of what's happening in my life. Uh, for those of you that you don't follow me back, you are missing out. So go and follow me. The handle to do is e for echo Fereniki. Um, and also it's the same with my website www.ifereniki.com which is essentially the electronic version of me <laughs> um, so, so so yeah it's been it's been quite a week actually and I want to talk to you about that because you asked me lots of questions about uh, sort of the events that I attended and who was there and all of that stuff because you saw those um, Instagram stories there so I will um, answer all of those questions in this video and talk to you a bit more about my week and what happened. So essentially, I attended the Rita Week Live, which is a two-day event, Wednesday and Thursday. It was at the O2 Intercontinental Hotel, um, and that is um, organized by Essential, the company I work for. It's a very retail-focused, well, it's, it's for retailers, but essentially within the UK region. So uh, very content-driven um, and some of the high-caliber leaders within the retail industry were attending, uh, lots of conversation um, around the future of retail and all of the changes that are happening there. And then on the last day, uh, we had a special guest, which was, some of you, you may know, <laughs> um, a very hot guy, which is David Gandhi. And I, I think I get red as, like, I say his name and I get red, which is a bit weird. Anyway, but he was like, yeah, he's such an hot guy like, he's so hot um <laughs> he has like those wide shoulders and his look and that he's really really um attractive anyway um and he talked about the um um sort of like um the the, the partnership that he has with well men uh, sort of the vitamins and he's an ambassador for that brand so he talked about um how to be an ambassador and how to choose brands that are suitable and compatible with who you are essentially and he talked a lot about authenticity and um, being true to your values and, and sort of choosing ethical companies to work for and stuff like that so it was really really inspiring really great um, yeah uh, and <laughs> I mean I could see that the majority of the people within the room felt really oh, not the people the men within the room felt really uncomfortable um, because of sort of the type of man that he is essentially <laughs> Anyways, um, right after that, I went to another event, which is um, by Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, for any entrepreneurs in the audience, I'm sure you know about him. Um, he has this American slash Belarusian entrepreneur um, that he immigrated to America, well, with his family back in the day. Uh, he started working in the liquor store, um, um, his dad liquor store, and he sort of grew into a digital store which is called wine library and then he moved into um founding viner media and now he's advising other companies how to build brands online etc and how to utilize really the um digital age that we live in and how to win in that in that sort of area he's a really inspiring guy he's very short he's like this he's short but his body language is so He's so in control of everything. <laughs> he's got this nerve. He's like very energetic, and he's such an inspiration for me because, um, you know, as as I, I, I don't consider myself an entrepreneur, but I consider myself as having entrepreneurial tendencies. Um, as I started um sort of a venture back in the in the day, and also I I just have those ideas, and I'm just have tendencies toward entrepreneurship. I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself as such. Um, but yeah, essentially he is such an inspiration and what I love about him is that he um, spent the time, well of course he was selling his merchandise there, like training suits and like his book, which is actually here, that's his book, Crushing It, um, uh, How Great Entrepreneurs Build Their Business and Influence and How You Can Too. I highly recommend this book, I am reading it now. Um, I mean, he talks, it's a continuation of the um, Crush It, which was the first book that he uh, published, I think, in 2009, where he talks about the different platforms, um, sort of how to, to use Twitter, YouTube, 
um, uh, podcasts, etc., and make the most of that. And he uh, shares lots of exa examples of very successful entrepreneurs that, that have done that already. So yeah, that's the book. Go get it. Highly uh, recommend this book. Um, and then other than that, he was he was such a great guy. I mean, he was there uh, meeting and greeting everyone. He took a selfie with each and every person waiting for him. It was a, it was a long queue outside of the um, sort of pop-up store nearby Spitterfields. Um, and I was waiting there for one and a half hours in the cold. Um, uh, like with everybody else of course I met some incredible people as well in, in the process because um, he gets to have like very engaged audience like everyone that was there was like loving him <laughs> it was it was such um, a big deal for, for for everyone to meet him and he was so down to earth and and so helpful with everyone so he wanted to meet and greet every single one of us and he took a selfie I took a selfie with him um, he was really he was really really sweet um, he asked me my name <laughs> um, I said it's for Nikki remember that no joking um, but yeah he was he was really sweet and um, yeah uh, I w it was such a great experience and I felt so fortunate to be able to you know live in London and have those experiences because if it was back in my hometown, I wouldn't be able to have those experiences. So I feel really blessed. So that was my week, just a little bit um, of, of it. Um, I will share more of my life, I think, as uh, you get to know me better as well. And uh, you, you get to see life from my point of view, which is quite positive, by the way. <laughs> so keep watching. Love you all.